damage reduction would have been a more powerful stat. And if you see my point here, I can go through all of these items. Again, here I would have preferred close to enemies. Here I would have preferred critical strike chance. Here I would have preferred critical strike chance. And again, critical strike chance. What I'm saying is that none of the items in my inventory actually have the ideal or preferred stat that I'm looking for. So I could actually reroll all eight of these items to the tune of 40 million gold. And then you might still get some rolls that you don't want and have to reroll those yet again for another 5 million gold each. Welcome back everyone, we're here to World Boss today, and we've already collected our weekly bonus. We're in fact here for the Grim Favors. The reason for that is because gold has become so important in this season. Essentially what's happened is the necessity for materials compared to gold has flipped over. In fact, we no longer starve for certain materials in the games. In order to improve our character, we're now starved for gold. So we need to maximize our efficiency when it comes to collecting gold. If you're not super familiar with the term Grim Favors, essentially you'll collect 10 of these favors from various tasks and then you'll turn them into the Tree of Whispers. You'll then be able to select from three different choices, but regardless of which choice you choose, it'll come with a lot of gold. As I zoom in here, you'll see that there's three different icons, and you can locate these icons on your map in order to farm them. And keep collecting 10 of these favors, returning to the tree, and this will be the fastest way to collect gold in Season 4 of Diablo 4. But be warned, if you're looking for the fastest way to actually get these favors to then turn them in, it's not always the objective that gives you the most favors. You can get five grim favors from doing the dungeons. This can actually slow you down because it's actually quicker to complete the other tasks that give less favors per task. By scouting around the map, you can actually improve your efficiency. Here you'll see you get one grim favor for slaying 50 demons, one grim favor for slaying 50 knights just next door to that, and in between those two, three grim favors for collecting venomous motes from different enemies. So we can get five grim favors here faster than we can complete that dungeon. Now we will head to those objectives, but first I just want to show you just how high the cost or the demand for gold is in this season. Here's an item to upgrade it for masterworking from rank seven to eight. It's actually going to cost one million gold and this will continue to increase. If you want to reset this item, well, that actually costs five million gold per item. The number of items that you may need is really going to add up quickly. For example, I would prefer a different affix than movement speed to have had the increased stat. I would prefer a different stat than tornado. I would prefer the critical strike chance in this case. I would prefer a different stat than the willpower to have increased here. But in general, I just need a higher item level pair of pants. So at this point, we're going to go out and start doing some of these whispers. We did get five from the world boss. I would still recommend doing the world bosses. Overall, that's well worth the five rewards that you get. And you can essentially time that for when it's going to spawn. You don't need to stand there waiting, especially if you're not recording a video. So we're going to go through, just collect these moats, and we're going to try to push over either to the left or the right as well, and essentially do all of these as fast as possible. And overall, this should be quicker than doing the dungeon, which granted five grim favors as well. Now you can see that I can even go into this event, and although I'm not particularly looking to do events, I am getting credit for killing both the demons and harvesting those moats at the same time. So we're double dipping here. This is part of what makes us so efficient. Once I get the 50 demons down, I'll go over to the other side and try to double dip on the knights as well. So there's the demons. You'll see I gain the whisper. I'm still collecting moats. Plenty of moats to be had. I don't necessarily need to pick up every one, but I do want to pick up the ones that are somewhat in my direction. Still looking for gem fragments as well. Those are another rarity in this particular season. Now I'm going to head over and actually go towards the knights on the other side. Once here, we can just begin slaughtering again. And since we're not necessarily scaling the mobs, at least not higher than our character level, as it would be compared to, say, a Nightmare Dungeon, or even running the pit, all this should go down pretty easily regardless of your level. So farming gold can begin whenever you feel like doing it, although I would recommend pushing your character into World Tier 4 before you begin farming other things, just for maximizing your efficiency. So there we go. Now we have that whisper silenced as well. We should just have to have the one in which we need to deposit the venomous moats into the altar. We want to make sure that we knock that out before returning to the tree in which we'll be able to claim our reward. So there we have it. We've now completed 10 of those grim favors so we can return to the tree of whispers and see what we get for all this work. This was relatively quick, right? We picked up right when the world boss spawned. So if you want to time your world bosses to then completing your tree of whispers, that's a pretty effective way to do this. Let's get back to the tree. You can select whatever you want. In this case, I don't particularly really care, so I'm just going to select any of them, open them up. We're going to go from roughly one and a half million gold once we scoop everything up to 4.8 million gold. So this is hands down the fastest way to do it. You can see you just log on to do the world boss, collect the grim favors from that, then complete a few tasks that are all grouped together. You can quickly accumulate gold in a short period of time where you're actually online. Now, if there's no world boss up at the moment and you just want to continue to farm gold, I would still recommend just continuing to look for other whispers that are clumped together and avoid the dungeons unless you just prefer to run those, but know that it's a little bit slower. 
Once your character is at a point where you've got a fair bit of materials from salvaging, you can always sell your items as well. This is really useful. A lot of people just continue to salvage for perhaps weeks on end. You don't necessarily need to do that in this season. In fact, I really early on got to a point in my character where I'm pretty comfortable with materials I have. Which means I can check through for upgrades and then just vendor anything that isn't. In this case, I can just sell off these items and you'll actually pick up a lot of gold doing this as well. Now keep that in mind, this will be a quick way to pick up some gold. As you can see, just from vendoring off those items, I picked up a fair amount as well, and the inventory wasn't even full. So definitely want to make sure that you're doing that, provided you've got enough materials to cover all the other needs that you're looking for. Once you get your gold, you can spend that on either the masterworking, tempering if you're still at that stage, there's always enchanting, or respecting to final endgame builds. I've actually been using a leveling version of the Paragon Tree because it's been so difficult to get gold at the same time while going through the masterworking process. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and have a great day.